Before we start today's video, I want to introduce you to some jackets from David Outwear. This is a website that offers many different items from leather jackets to coats and parkas to shoes and accessories. Now this brand did send me a couple of jackets here to check out and first we have their David Outwear fleece biker jacket in the Peru brown shade which they say is made from premium crafted PU leather and I think it overall has a really cool look to it which drew me in right away and I knew that had to be my first choice. They also sent me over their Titan leather jacket which is made similarly in quality to the biker jacket but this one has its own killer design going on here which also drew me in and I knew right away this had to be my second choice. Now both jackets here fit very well and finding a size wasn't hard at all using the guide on their site. I found the large, I looked at the chest size, it all looked fine. I actually got them ordered in the large and they fit just as expected so this worked out very well. Being though as it's definitely not jacket weather here where I live right now I'll be saving these for the fall for sure but you can see when that time comes they'll be very easy to style with because they have a great fit the colors are classic they go with almost anything and the overall look of the jackets they just work they look great they fit nicely and I, I think they also fit into a multitude of different situations and scenarios if you'd like to check these out for yourself you can find a link to the David outwear shop in the description of this video I highly recommend you check these guys out they turned out really well and I really appreciate David outwear for sending these out for my opinion now though on to today's episode What is happening guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the Odin Wax Cream from Templeton Tonics. This was requested by a lot of you awesome people who watch my videos and being as I'm a huge fan of Templeton Tonics, I was very eager to give this one the rundown. Uh, according to the brand, the Odin Wax Cream is an easy to use wax cream that gives insane volume separation and a powerful, flexible, firm hold with a healthy matte finish. It's also called by the brand the most versatile product in the lineup with its ability to work as both a pre and post styler. This, like others in the line, are also available in a couple scent options. Inside the jar here, we have a standard looking cream. It's very easy to scoop, very wet, very creamy. It breaks down in the hand though with no issue at all, but as you do break it down, a slight tack and dryness does begin to present itself. For the demo now, I'll be using it the recommended way, which is as a pre and post styler. So I'm starting with damp hair, nothing else will be in my hair of course, and I'm not using a huge scoop here, but I am using what I think is an appropriate amount for my hair length and thickness to start with. At this stage though, there's just not much to show. We're just going in damp hair. But after we add in that heat, this is the result that we got. We have a nice little foundation here in my opinion. It's not really tacky or sticky, waxy, I guess. I mean, it's nothing like that, but it's definitely controlled though. You can tell there's something going on here for sure. So let's press on and see what else this product offers. The first scoop though, we do get a bit of that waxiness. You can kind of feel it initially at least. It really comes in there with with a passion and immediately kind of tugs at the hair but almost immediately after that it goes away that tackiness just completely disintegrates it becomes very airy lightweight natural but still controlled which is very interesting to me I did use a total of two scoops here and that presentation overall was the same for both scoops which I think was cool for a couple of reasons it added in a lot of control but it also made combing and styling very easy with that lightweight presentation it controlled the hair nicely I'm not sure I'd call it a firm hold really to be honest but it has a great help of control for sure that I think both encourages and again controls the slight wave that my hair has. In the end I was actually very pleased with the kind of polished wavy look this product brought to the table. Four hours in here we can see for sure some deflation is going on especially right here in the front. It's just for sure loosened up there and become more natural. As I run my hands through it though I can still feel the product there so it's not gone completely but if we look at this now a full eight hours in we can see that it did loosen up even just a bit more more of the style there from the beginning. I do think that it is able to be restyled and revamped a little bit, which is a solid point on the board for this product. I mean, the fact to me that I can take my comb and, and my fingers and kind of just revamp it, give it a little bit of a restyle and see that the product has obvious battery power left after a full eight hours on a hot day is a solid win for this cream. Now, washout and scent on this one here were both killer in my opinion. The washout was a simple water rinse. It literally just evaporated as soon as the water hit it. It's just so easy easy. The scent is the Mythos variation and I freaking love it. Keep in mind though my nose is a bit crazy but what I smell is something that's super smooth yet slightly sweet. It's absolutely addicting. I love it. I do think once again Templeton really came up with something cool here. I think overall it does style well. It definitely isn't as waxy as I was expecting or even as it feels. It starts out super waxy when you first get it in the hair but almost immediately after it smooths out and becomes nice and lightweight. For this 
reason, I think it's a great candidate for every hair type. And after seeing how it kind of enhanced my natural waves, it gave me the impression that it would be good for longer hair as well in styles such as this, or even maybe styles like the one Shawn Mendes is rocking right now. Truthfully though, I would have liked to see just a bit more of that waxiness. I think it was a bit light on that and thus on the overall hold as well. I wouldn't quite call it a firm myself, but that doesn't mean it didn't have things going for it. I mean, easy application, great hold, a killer scent, great management of the waves, solid restyling and washout, and did I mention it had a killer scent. That is it for this one though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out Templeton Tonics using the link below if you're interested. And while you're there, make sure you like this video for me and subscribe if you haven't already. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.